the new era of Pinstripe Bowl at Yankee Stadium in Bronx, New York, 5.15 p.m. on December 27th between the Wisconsin Badgers and the Miami Hurricanes. If this was last year, if this was 2017, this matchup would be a New Year's Six Bowl game. Both of these teams, fantastic year in 2017. Miami with a turnover chain and, and Wisconsin just being Wisconsin, running the ball with Jonathan Taylor. Um, they came into this season with super high, lofty expectations. I think both were ranked in the top 10 to start the season. And then the expectations just came crashing down to the earth as the season came along. Miami's turnover chain magic could not be revived straight out of the gate. Huge loss to LSU in week one, really knocking the Hurricanes out of the top 10 and in a four-game slide in the middle of the season to four straight league ACC opponents, knock them out of any meaningful bowl game. Um, which at this point it allowed the freshman quarterback Nicosi Perry to steal the starting quarterback job from the senior leader Malik Rozier. So that's an interesting yep. storyline you got going on there. New quarterback, freshman taking it away from a senior. Um, they had a. Couple- it's kind of back and forth throughout the rest of the season. What's that? It was. Uh, I said it was kind of back and forth between the rest of the season. Yeah. But Nikosi Perry's really the the guy now. I mean, you got a senior yeah. going back and forth with a freshman. You got to think toward the future at this point. And Nikosi Perry is that guy being a freshman. He is the starting quarterback here in this bowl game in Yankee Stadium. Um, a pair of big wins in the regular season. Miami is rolling into the bowl season with a little bit of good vibes, I guess, if you're seven and five as Miami. Uh, we flip it over to Wisconsin's quarterback situation. It's kind of a similar out with the old, in with the new scenario here. Alex Hornibrook still uh, dealing with some concussion symptoms, trying to figure all that out, which is kind of worrisome because it was a while ago the last that Wisconsin played, and he's still dealing with concussion systems. So sophomore Jack Cohn will be giving up redshirt status to start for the Badgers in a bowl game. Wow. That's a whole other question. I don't. I don't see the point of, of wasting a whole season on being a red shirt to play in a meaningless bowl game. John, I don't I don't understand why. Like I get the whole do it for the team, this is a team game, but I that just seems like a silly decision to me. So I I I was listening, but just remind me one more time. Is it because he is he coming in because of injury or because the other guy is so bad? Injury. Hornybrook is dealing with concussion stuff. Well, I, I mean it, at that point it's like do you have much of a choice? You kind of have they to. They have a third quarterback that has played some this year. They have another guy that has played. Um, it's uh-huh. a meaningless bowl game. It's not like it's a New Year's Six game or a yeah. playoff game. It's just the new era pinstripe bowl. So that's what gets yeah, me. If I'm, it's like, why are you going to give it up for this? So the, the redshirt guy has not played this Jack season? Cone. He has. So the redshirt rule changed this year. I think you're allowed to play in five games. Okay, um, so this will be, this his, be sixth. his sixth game, I believe, and that would take the redshirt away. I don't know, man. It's it, as a coach, I probably would not do it. Right, I don't want to waste. But it, it's the it's the same thing as like when we get mad that people are sitting out. Like, do you want the bowl game to mean something, or do you not want it to mean anything? Right. So I I don't know. It's it's a tough decision. I'm glad I don't have to make that call. Now, I haven't heard. I, I'm pretty sure Jonathan Taylor touchdown will be playing in this game for Wisconsin. So Cone will just be turning around and handing off to him anyway. He's got 100 yards in every game this season, minus that loss to Northwestern, which I was at. And he has had back-to-back 1,900-yard and 15 touchdown seasons. So that's impressive. Identical season to last year. Wisconsin will live and die with their big offensive line and the running game. And with a new quarterback, you know that the Badgers are going to be handing off to Jonathan Taylor a lot in this game. And that's why I think Wisconsin's still going to come away with a one-score victory. 28-20 to 20 is the score I wrote down. I'd, I'll, I'll take Wisconsin in this one. I mean, I'd, as you said, really, th- this is their season. Like, neither season turned out the way that they wanted it to. I think Miami had the worst slide this year. And so I'll, I'll take Wisconsin in this matchup.